homestead. The most exciting thing that happened to our homestead over the last year was getting our first round of chickens. Our chicken coop is in our barn, and today we are sharing our setup as well as our nesting boxes and where they free range. We hope you enjoy. So I converted one of the stalls into a chicken coop, not coop. A chicken house, living area. I guess right now it would be a brooder. Hey, so what kinds of chickens are we getting? So due to everything that's going on in the world, the current events and things, a lot of the distributors that we looked for for the chickens were kind of sold out, especially of the females. We didn't settle on our first choice, which we were looking at the Freedom Rangers for free ranging meat birds, but we found some alternatives. So the egg layers are going to be Rhode Island Reds. We're going to have them for a couple years and we got 10 of those. The meat birds are going to be the Colombian Wyandotte. I think I'm saying that right. They're supposed to be, you know, nice disposition, great free rangers, and they're a nice like medium to large size bird. Technically both of the breeds that we got for ourselves are dual purpose breeds. The Rhode Island Reds are supposed to produce anywhere between 300 to like 325 eggs per chicken per year. That's a lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. I hope you like eggs. Well you need to show your your little setup in here that you and your dad worked so hard on. Yeah. It looks great. I'll show you guys. Like I said earlier, it's an old barn. Um, so as you can imagine, there was a bunch of holes and gaps everywhere. The biggest problem was critter proofing this, especially when the chickens are young. We tried to do our best to fill any gap that was um, bigger than a quarter inch, which you can imagine took quite a while. Down below us is a sloped concrete pad with a drain in the middle. Right behind this is the sill for the barn. So old rotten kind of falling apart so we just boxed it in and any large gaps we put hardware cloth and then mortar to keep rodents from chewing through and getting in here this is just like a cardboard composite with the smooth um, side facing the inside here we've got two pieces of rip two by fours that are held together with screws as the chicks get bigger we need to expand the space outward we're just gonna rip two foot tall plywood and just kind of elongate this circle to fill the space of the stall. Up here is the exhaust system. There's an inline duct fan up here that pulls all the air from here, creating negative pressure and exhausting it out the side of the barn. Just sucks in all that nasty air and no pull air from the rest of the barn, which doesn't have any other critters in it right now. What you're seeing right now is the intake for the exhaust fan in the chicken coop. It runs on the floor of the second story of our barn and exhausts out the side of the barn. The purpose of this is to remove ammonia from the coop, as well as to help reduce the smell. Our chicks arrived shortly after we had everything all set up and ready to go. Once the chickens were old enough and feathered, they were able to venture out to the yard. Here the chickens have access to forage, including insects and various plants such as plantain, clover, wood sorrel, dandelions, and grasses. While free ranging, the chickens are able to get most of their required protein and nearly a quarter of their total diet from what they find in the yard. They also have access to our compost mound and kitchen scraps. While free ranging, the chickens create their own dust baths to remove mites and clean themselves. The only supplementation we give our hens is oyster shells for eggshell development. The rest of their grit is picked up while foraging outside. Chris made the nesting boxes out of scrap wood from various projects around the homestead. The cubicles are 14 inches wide by 14 inches deep. Vent holes placed at the top and sides of the nest box allow stale air to exit. 
our hens took to the boxes immediately. The Wyandotte meat birds were processed when they were about 20 weeks old. We enjoyed learning how to process our own chickens and felt a sense of humble satisfaction being able to provide for ourselves in this way for the first time. We've really enjoyed having chickens here and collecting fresh eggs every day. The chickens help to create compost, which is used throughout the homestead, and their manure renews the soil of their range where they feed. They are an essential part of an ever-circulating process here on our small farm.